What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my 2017 5.3 quart Cook's Essentials Air Fryer. And today I'm going to make an air fryer butterball boneless turkey breast roast. This one's about three pounds, but they can be up to about five pounds. I paid about 10 bucks for this. Yeah, I got ripped off. I took one for the team. As I told y'all on my, um, when I did it in my pressure cooker, uh, two days ago, <laughs> but, um, you can catch this on sale. Um, usually around Thanksgiving time, around the holiday time, early November, um, for about five, six bucks. But if it's not on sale, you're going to pay nine to 10 bucks, but it's all good. Anywho, I'm making this today because this is a great alternative to making a traditional turkey for the holidays. Or it's also just great to just make, um, you know, for salads and sandwiches, just fresh meat. And this could sit in your fr freezer for like a year. So you can catch it on sale and just throw it in your freezer and make it whenever you want. Anyway, let's unravel. All right, guys. So this is what it looks like out the packaging. It does if you got if you get a butterball one. I'm not well versed on these, but with at least with butterball, it comes with a turkey gravy packaging as well. So you get gravy with this as well. But anyway, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to um, spray it with some olive oil all around. So let me go ahead and do that right now. If you don't have a sprayer as yet, go ahead and brush it on. Put it in a bowl and just like brush it on. Because we have to keep these strings in, attached. Because if not, then it may fall apart. Your breast. So, you definitely want to keep the strings attached. Next, I'm going to put on some uh, paprika on all sides and then and brush it on with my brush. And this gives it color, guys. All right. And just to keep it simple, I'm just going to add my complete seasoning to it. I'm just going to sprinkle it on all sides. And that's going to be my seasoning, guys. As simple as that. Should give me a nice little crunch when it's all done, which I'm excited about already. All right, guys, as you can see, it's well seasoned. So I'm on my lunch break now. It's about two o'clock. Um, and so what I'm going to do when I get off for of work at 530, I'll put it in the air fryer at that point. I just want, you know, the seasoning to sit there and marinate a little bit since I have some time. But if you don't have time, you can go ahead and put it in the air fryer now. Um, but, you know, things always taste better once you marinate it. So, yeah. All right, guys, there we have it. I'm off of work. Well, I was off 10 minutes ago, but um, it's been in the refrigerator for some time, a couple hours. And now I am ready to put it in the air fryer. All right, guys, this is my basket. I'm just going to put some parchment paper in there just for easy cleanup. You don't have to do it, but I am. There we have it, guys. Yep. All right, guys, let me slide my fryer out. Okay, so I'm going to do 370 for 40 minutes, but I'm just going to do it for 20 minutes because I'm going to flip it after that. I could do 40 minutes, but I might forget. might be doing something, and it might be 25 minutes, and I didn't flip it at the exact 20. So I'm just going to do 20 first. It'll stop. I'll flip it and do 20 again. just makes it simple that way. All right, guys. Um, 
one thing I want to mention, A, I put too much seasoning on it and that was starting to crisp up too fast. Um, I dropped it down to 360 with 10 minutes. So I would definitely do this at 360 to start. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over right now. All right, so I turned that over. That's looking really good. I like that. Mm -hmm. So let me go ahead and uh, put this back in and I'm gonna do 360 for 20 minutes with this side. And then I'll get my meat thermometer out and we'll see. I know I have to go a little further from there because um, the original recipe I got it was um, actually 45 minutes and then 10 minutes at 400 degrees. So I know I have to go a little extra, but we'll see how far we need to go after, after this 20. All right, guys. So we're at 40 minutes right now. I did it at 350. 360 was even too high. Problem what I did is I put too much oil. I put too much olive oil on there. I put too much seasoning and too much oil, so don't do that um, because it's going to make the outside cook too much, too fast. I guess too much oil or whatever have you, so don't do that. I did take the temperature. It's at uh, one, 145, which is good. So I'm going to flip it over now, and I'm going to try and go another 10 minutes at 350, and hopefully that can get me where I need to go. So let me flip it real quick. All right, so this is the other side. So we're gonna try to do 350 for another 10 minutes and hopefully when we check it, we'll be good. All right, guys, we are done. We're at 173, 174. So we are where we need to be. A little bit over actually. So yeah. I'll admit it's a little extra crispy there. <laughs> but we got it done so please don't put a lot of oil on there um, and a lot of seasoning just put a little bit of oil just spritz it just just a little bit and then you know check it like every seven minutes and just hit it every time you know hit the dry spots as needed that's the best way to do it don't do it like me <laughs> but anyway I'm gonna um, take off the net off of this and detach that and uh, we'll get we'll cut into it and see what it looks like. Shout out to my kitchen gadgets group on Facebook one time. All right, guys, this is what it is. Give you a closer look. Not bad. Not bad at all. So let me go ahead and cut into it. Let's see what we're working with here. Nice. Look at that right there. Come on now. Look at that. See the smoke coming out that? Come on now. You know what? I'm gonna bug out right real quick. I gotta take a pic. I'm gonna take a picture with y'all. I'm gonna take a picture for my um Cook Essentials group one time. My Samsung S8. There we go. Wait till they see that. But anyway. As always, we take a taste. So it cool off a little, still a little warm. I'm gonna have you have a taste first. Got it? Okay. Mmm. This is juicy. Oh, I taste all the flavoring. Wow. Now, I made this in my pressure cooker, but the air fryer smashes it. This tastes really, really good. Flavorful. You notice I didn't, the all seasoning did everything. 
I taste, it's not salty, but I taste salt. I taste a whole bunch of seasoning. This is perfect. This is just easy peasy turkey making. And like I said, guys, this is just, you know, a lot of it, like me, I don't really like turkey like that, but it's a must have for Thanksgiving. So I'll make something like this alongside with some ribs and some fried chicken and some whatever else I make. I don't know, meatballs, I don't know, whatever. But if you just have to have a turkey, this is a great alternative. All right. So anyway, I'm going to put a link in the description to my air fryer group on Facebook. We've got over 24,000 members, so I, want you, I would like for you to join if you're thinking about getting an air fryer or if you have an air fryer. We have all air fryers in there. We even got that new Power XL um, air fryer or oven thingy. About six or seven of us got it in there. I don't have it. I'm not getting it, but because I have no more room. <laughs> I'm, I'm all fried out right now. Um, so just definitely click the link in the description and join. Um, but that's about it. I'll probably make a salad with this tonight or I might even make a sandwich. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm glad it turned out well. And again, don't use too much oil like I did. Do 350 degree, 350 degrees for 50 minutes. So you're going to do 20 one side, flip it 20, and then 10, all at 350, and you should be all set. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe, and if anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. We out, y'all.